things in my hand are known as clackers. They were a popular children's toy in the 1960s, and we're going to use these to explain Newton's three laws of motion. The basic motion behind the clackers can be explained by Newton's first three laws of motion. According to Newton's first law, any object at rest or any object in motion will remain at rest or in motion respectively unless, unless acted upon by an outside force, as is the case with the clackers when they are moved up so that they continue to move upwards until gravity pulls them back down, in which case they run down the radius of the uh, string uh, before they collide. According to Newton's second law, Acceleration is equal to force over mass, so any object given a force will begin to accelerate, and the greater the force, the greater the acceleration. According to Newton's third law, um, any object that exerts a force upon a second object um, will have the second object exert an equal and opposite force on the first object, um, as is the case when the clackers collide into each other and both exerts an equal and opposite force on the other, and they accelerate away. A reiteration on Newton's second law of motion in relation to the clackers is how the acceleration increases for the clackers as you move your hand up and down. If the clackers are already in motion, moving up, and you move the string down, what happens is you increase the tension on the um, rope for each ball, which creates a force which accelerates the clackers quicker towards each other. And the same thing happens when you move it upwards to add the force onto gravity. Physics is everywhere, 